God is able to keep us. He will watch over us. He shall keep us forever. Now the MSCA of the world. And found here this God will be our help. Amen. Amen. This morning. And okay. I'm speaking on a topic. Children, honor your parents. I'm a friend. By God's grace, this past two weeks, the theme of our message from yeah. this pulpit uh, have been focused on family. Uh, Last week, Pastor Dubai drew our attention for the need for everybody to honor the married bed. Last two weeks, our own doctor also okay. preached okay. about okay. the responsibility of fathers. Yeah. Of yeah. The responsibility of counseling and teaching and providing and caring. Sir, and in open it up for every parent to do what they're supposed to do. This morning, by the help of the Lord, I'll be speaking about children and not your parents. A scripture reading will be taken from Ephesians chapter 6, 1 to 3. It's one of the favorite Sunday school scripture that is taught to children in the children's Sunday school. And I know if I go around all the children who happen to be here and I give them opportunity to even share what is in Ephesians chapter 6, 1 to 3, they will answer. The Bible says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Verse 2 says, Honor your father and mother. Which is the first commandment of the promise. That it may be well with you. And may live long on the now, earth. When you need to check our association. Clearly, God's word to children now, is to obey their parents. The word obey means to submit. To comply with now what and send me so heed. Now what and to follow instruction of authority. Now what I can try me a foot one. One of do so at the mouse. This means that every child which is about Fabia must listen and comply with as I said, oh tea now near or tea or two one or more. The instructions, the counsel, the teachings of the parents. The voice of a parent is a voice of authority that, that must be complied with. The book of Ephesians. Yeah, was written to Christians. The trauma a Christopher a GD4 in Ephesus. Ah, no more Ephesus mind so. So the contest until you yeah, you can in a swap is to Christian children. The trauma Christopher Amofra. The same way Paul spoke to Christian wives. Sonia of Casa Tre, a 
to submit to their husbands as to the Lord. Now, the Bible says that he spoke to husbands to love their wives just as Christ loved the church. In the same vein, God speaking to Christian children. They are to obey their sins. So you are a child here. God said. There are they say your responsibility in the home is to obey. Obey your parents. It's a command from God. And it is in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you will ask why as children we need to obey our parents. The Bible says in the B of the verse, verse 1. Vision 6 1. The B says, For it is right. It is the right thing to do. It is the ultimate thing to do. You disobey this command. You do it to your own peril. God said. He's saying to us today. As it's in the word of God. As children. We must obey. Your obedience to your parents at home set a state for you to obey all authority. When you learn to disobey your parents, when you learn to disobey your parents, that's the recipe of disaster. Every other authority that you come into contact with, the livelihood that you will disobey that authority is very hard. It's very hard. Because your parents are the first point of reference to what God wants you to be. They are representative of God on earth. They represent God. Look at Genesis when God created man and woman. The first thing to do is instituted marriage. And he asked them to be fruitful and multiply. Including In having children. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So how parents lead their children to know the Lord will also reflect how they will love the Lord. And the reason why you obey them, apart from because it is right, because it will please the Lord. Colossians chapter 3, verse 20. From the same writer. Uh, from the same writer Paul uh, say children obey your parents in all things for it, this is well pleasing to the Lord your obedience to your parents is pleasing to the Lord you are going to obey your parents not because of your parents 
more importantly, your obedience to them is obedience to God. The boy, it is God who commanded. Children must obey. So we will obey. Our parents to the glory of God. Now, when we look at the vision chapter 6 2, after Paul speaking about obedience to, children, to parents of children, he quotes Exodus chapter 20. Verse 12. As part of the Ten Commandments, if you are aware of the Ten Commandments, he has two tablets. The first tablet shows us how we have to relate to God. And from there we know not to have any other God before Him. Not to serve any other God. Or idols. Not to take the name of the Lord in vain. And the commandment to keep the Sabbath and keep it holy. After these four commands, the first of the six shows how we have to relate to man. As Jesus summarized it in the greatest commandment. To love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind. And he said the second one is equally important. Now, said you are to love your neighbor as yourself. And in this law. Of God. As a commandment, God did it fit to put another parent there. And your father and mother. Because it is a people to other commandments. If you love your parents, you not steal. If you love your children, your parents, and you obey them and honor them, now you will not commit murder. If you love and obey and honor your parents, you will not commit adultery or fornication. If you love your children, your parents and another, you will not steal. If you love and honor your parents, you will bear no false witness. If you love and honor your parents, you will convert any you will not convert anything that belongs to another person. In keeping the three commandments, that God gave to the people of Israel, and Jesus repeated it to us, as it's linked to how we love God and obey God. And how we love our neighbors as ourselves. If a child is rebellious at home, and disobedient, those the parents that give them life, that give that child, he or her life. That if 
the child. And right. if children disobey parents who gave them life, who sustained them? Who kept them? Who have helped them? Does not have regard to them. How will he ever give respect to any other person? Or any other authority? That will not be deviant. Will not be disobedient to others. The breakdown of society is linked to children not under authority, especially in home. The society, it is what it is today, because children who didn't respect grew out to become adults who do not respect. We were once young. And now we have grown. The things that we learned when we, we were young has gone ahead of us and are followed up, up to today. So it is how children are brought up to respect their parents, to honor their parents, has effect in their future. Now, some year I for at the time I'm afraid. Now I'm afraid you need to know who am I now for? And when I bet you let that change now for me. And I'm presenting to all of us that if a child does not respect at home, say that from M1. As he grow, he will carry it over. Until Jesus, unless Jesus intervenes. So all of us who are here as children, we have a responsibility as Christian children to obey our parents. It is not your parents' command. It is your greater, your Savior's command. And we have to do it. To the glory of His name. Who is this children? Who are these children? You. You. For all those by God's grace who have your, ch- your parents alive, even though you are old. The command is children. With, with varying ages. You are still the the daughter and son of your mother and father. Whether they are for born. You bear their name. You bear their identity. Whatever you do, either bring honor to them or disgrace to them. We are the children. How we respect our parents who will carry it to church. How we treat our parents at home. Because we are unit of families here. How we live at home. We'll bring it over wherever we go. So we have to, by God's grace, honor our parents and do things that pleases the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are that child.
You may not obey your parents as he tells you to go to church now that you are old. He tells the mother or father tells you to pray, he will not be there. But the things that you have learned, as you continue to practice in honor to them, God will bless you. God will favor you. We are that children. We continue to be children of our parents even into old age. You honor them by taking care of them when they are old. Remember them that they took care of you. I want to speak to those who parents didn't take care of them. Those who were abused verbally. In their home there was discrimination. The parents didn't care about you. You are, you are bitter. They didn't treat you well. You have a right to be angry. But the command to honor them does not excuse you from dishonoring them now that they are old and you are somebody. Uh, you continue to honor them because you are doing it unto the Lord, not unto them. them because God says love them. Keep them. Now and do something nice to them. Now let them bless you. No Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even though they maltreated you. Even though they didn't care about you. I also speak to those who have stayed with people. Despite all they did to you. At least. They gave you a place to stay. They taught you how to be a survivor. It is hard when you remember. But forgive them. Move, the, move on. And honor them. But not repeating the things they did to you, to your children's children. Don't do that. Now, the thing that they did to you, stay with you. And the living God, he is the one who has brought you this far. And it's for a reason. Now, the brothers of Joseph didn't know that they were pushing him to become a prime minister. The kingsmen they came to, they didn't know God will use that to make you a Christian. You don't know. I love them by not repeating the things that they did to you. Even those your parents that they did you have things. Don't visit them and tell them, you man and father, you did this, 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 this to me. Instead of giving them two cities, you give them 50 pesos. Give it to them. Because God has said, another is the Lord. Who are these parents? That we as children have to obey and honor. Specifically, Bible says father and mother. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But additionally, also, the Bible tells us in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 32. It says, stand up before a grave, a grave man. I say, sorry, Gina, but it's raining. Stand up. Sorry, Gina. And Anna, an adult who is old. Now, for me, dear man, open me and when you need. Give them respect. For who am I? They could have been your father. Now, go back to me, I your wife. You have no right. Only you know why. So you show somebody's father. Sir, obey you, obey papa. To dishonor somebody's father. Sir, I won't find it here, but obey mommy. You listen to radio how people shown, insult the elderly in our society today. And now we hear radio show. I'm afraid I'm going to hear radio show because I'm going to hear the radio show. On the TV. Our TV show. Leaders that go, if they have it in their family, they will be rejoicing. And yet they can fall and say, how many of us if you have for Christ's sake, ex-president Muhammad in our family will not be rejoicing. You know saying, I'm going to say, 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 I will not forget, I will get to me every Christmas. How many of us will not be happy if you have our current president and our do in our family? You must say that the president, who fought for our revolution, the new engineer, the young from Wawan. At least I will go and see how the Frasta house look like. Now, so I'm going to go back to my car for her Frasta house. I will tell you what you. We don't have the right to insult them. You know what I see about you here, some penny boy. You don't have the right to insult any other leader. You know what I see about you here, penny boy. If you have not prayed for them, so I won't compare them. If you have not stand in the gap and obey the scriptures, then we should pray for leaders. If you do my work, I may rather be my own. We cannot do that. Only one kind. See how children are disrespecting, disrespecting their parents because they are learning for leaders when they were young, they did not respect. Young person, your name, I'm a fra, I'm a woman, 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 i because it's by age. Despite the wrong they may be doing. So that we will not receive cares on our lives. We obey the Lord. The rest the Lord. By God's grace. Jesus said. He was told that his father and brothers and sisters were looking for him. And Jesus was moved to look at those who were listening to him. He said, my father, my mother, my sisters and brothers are those who are hearing the word of God and are doing it. Paul speaking to Timothy in 1 Timothy 5. He says, For the older men treat them as fathers. For the older women treat them as mothers. He said, For younger men treat them as brothers. The last one is very interesting. It says, Younger women treat them as sisters. And he adds a caveat with absolute purity. So in this church, we have fathers and mothers here. Amen. You cannot disrespect them. You cannot pass by them without greeting them. They are your fathers and mothers in their faith. That is according to the word of God. 
got something. The respect that you owe to your parents, they owe you. Oh, I don't forget this story. I said, you remember free, sir? About the same. 2016. Yeah, I feel that yeah, and numerical. When boys grades, I was given custody of this child to be cleaning and caring for it. I just love the work so much. And I can stay here the whole day. Every month, selected people come here after prayer, they clean the place. I don't forget this mother of mine. She said, I am going. The next moment, I want to see you at home. Go and be with your wife. Go and be with your wife and children. The work is over. Go home. And he said, I'm going to call your wife. And check whether you have come home. Now my husband, what the fear? What do I do, my dear? Abandon everything. I lock up and I went home. As soon as I said, as I got home. Now, my wife said, "What happened to you? Why did you come early today?" Whatever reason that made you come home, when you pray, pray for that reason. I said, I've taken a decision. Because you love the world more than me. Unfortunately, she was carrying a seed. And with zeal with that knowledge. I spent most of my time cleaning the church while not cleaning my home. And I go home and say, You are blessed. The day my labor starts, I will never call you. I will never call you. Within two weeks. Now, I will not forget this mother of mine. She said my marriage because I listened to her counsel. God used her to save me. God saved me because I listened to her counsel. You are doing something wherever you are, and elderly will tell you, not you, not you. Have patience, you say. Cause I know here, just go away. Oh, 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 Father, speak into the life of your children. Father, speak into the life of your children. So, in the name of Baptist Church. Father, speak into the life of your children in this church. When you are going wrong, just speak to them. So, I'm going to hear the answer. Because I saved that child. Now, John. John. They saved that child. Now, over John. I found another mother. He says to me, my son, you are my son, even though from a different mother. That's why that you are a pastor, you are my son. He calls me son. And it's so exciting. Who is your mother in this church? Who is the father in this church? That when you are doing something wrong, he will say to you, What are you doing? You find people as soon as they see you, they just dodge. You see them around 10 p.m., they, 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 they don't recognize yourself. Let's call them. I'm working with my boy. Just leave me alone. You cannot be a Christian child like that in a man of Baptist church. Who to me, Pastor? Brown, sir. 
God's saying that you have to honor your parents, your father and mother, including the parents here. There are rewards. There are rewards for the fathers and mothers. The Bible says, This is the first commandment of the promise. The promise is that, that uh, it may be well with you. It went well with me. Uh, so I listen to my mother, Mrs. Mahama. I think she deserves that. Oh, well, some of you, well, some of you, well, some of you. She deserves the God, my father, Father Dubai, Reverend no. Amenyo, and Papa. Yeah, Papa, no, me, you know, I father, Dr. Mahama. I hear you, yeah, Papa, Dr. Mahama, yeah, Papa, uh, Paul Amenyo. Anyone who can come in, I walk faster, I sit down here, and you can. And those are going to even call. And my mother, who calls me son. Praise the Lord. Who is your mother? Who is your father? I think they be well with you. You will have quality of life. You have somebody watching your back. There are people walking in this life, nobody watches their back. When they are going, they are going your into distraction. Say, Abu Kosey, you are not necessary. When you obey and also honor your parents, you have quality of life. The second reward for honoring and obedience to your parents. Father and mother, the Bible says you will live long on the earth. There are people who have died young. Sometimes I don't understand why they leave the world so early. It's not because they disobey their parents. It's not because they disobey their parents. Job's children didn't die because they disobeyed their parents. Sometimes we don't understand. But there are some we can clearly see. In this chair, we have lost two wonderful children. I won't remind anybody You have lost a loved one who is young. It's not only because they disobey. But for us who are alive, we may live to be 100. We may live to be 90. One sure way to achieve that by the word of God. Go and respect, respect, go and respect, honor your mother and father. Both. I want to live long. I want to have a quality life. So I want to thank all fathers and mothers that have cared for me. I'll continue to honor you and obey you. I can't forget Mr. and Mrs. Dr. and Mrs. Ikabensi too. They are fathers in this house. There are mothers in this house. There are mothers and fathers in your home. Go and obey them. Go and honor them. God says you will have a quality life. It shall be well with you. God says you will have quantity of life. We will live long on this earth. May that be your portion. Go and obey and honor. Hallelujah.
shall we say to Pastor Z? Or what shall we say to Pastor Z? God bless you. Hallelujah. I believe it's about time we took our offering.